Hi guys, welcome back. So today I thought I would bring you with me as I pick some apples from our uh, apple trees. And we have a, let's see, we have probably close to 50 apple trees. So I guess that would be considered a small orchard. Um, I'm gonna be picking from the one right behind me. You can see there's an apple right there in that corner. Um, this is called a Goodland apple. It's great for baking, fresh eating. It's just so delicious. So I'm gonna be picking some apples, not all of them, just enough, just enough to make an apple pie and I'll bring you along with me. Um, but you wanna make sure the apples are ripe. So normally when the tree starts dropping apples, that's a good sign that it's ripe. So a lot of times if the tree's not getting enough water, it will start dropping apples early. So you need to make sure it gets plenty of water. We get rain normally at least once a week here. The summer was weird. Um, so when we get rain once a week, we still water our own selves twice a week. Um, we went, uh, this summer it was extremely hot and extremely dry where we live. So we were watering every other day, um, but they need lots of water. Otherwise they won't produce the fruit. They'll just start dropping it and saving the energy and water for the tree itself. So when the apple tree starts dropping its apples, then you know that's a good sign if it's been getting enough water that the apples are ripe. So I'll go through, I'll kind of comb through the ground, pick those up first. And when they drop and fall, a lot of times they'll have a bruised spot, but that's fine, just cut it out. And then I'll pick some more from the tree as well. So let's go.
Okay, you guys, pie is done, so let me show you what it looks like. This is it. I am definitely not a master of pie, so it doesn't look um, immaculate or whatever. And obviously you can see juices kind of overflowed and dripped down, but it is delicious. The juices are a perfect cook's treat if you just kind of grab it with a little bit of spoon and it just tastes amazing. So thank you so much for tagging along with me as I made my apple pie. I will put the recipe in the description box below, so definitely check it out. This is my grandma's recipe, sour cream apple pie. When people hear the word sour cream in it, they're like, ew. So normally I just say uh, apple cream pie. <laughs> and they're like, oh, okay. Um, but yeah, thank you so much. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye.